One of my friends told me that he wanted to reset his iPhone to make it brand new so that he can give it to someone else. But the problem is that when he tries to do that, the iPhone requires the Apple ID password before resetting it. The sad truth is that he forgot his Apple ID password. For those people with the same problem, I would suggest they try iMyPhone Lock Wiper, which can reset all iPhones without an Apple ID password. This method works for all iPhones, including iPhone 11 and the latest iPhone 12, and also works for all iOS versions, including iOS 14. So let's check out how to do it step by step. Step one, launch iMyPhone Lock Wiper on your computer and choose the unlock Apple ID mode. Step two, connect your iPhone to your computer and click start to unlock. Make sure that two factor authentication is on and you have set up the screen lock passcode already. Step three, download and extract the firmware package. Step four, click Start Unlock, enter 000000 and click Unlock to start unlocking. In just a few minutes, you will have successfully reset your iPhone without a password and you can enter the iPhone with a new Apple ID. Besides, if you forgot the passcode on your iPhone during resetting, LockWiper can also help remove the passcode. Of course, you can solve this problem by resetting the Apple ID password first. You can do that via a phone number or a recovery key, etc. However, if you'd like to go to Apple support, unfortunately, they can't help you reset the Apple ID password and you still need to go to forgot.apple.com, which requires your phone number, email, and other information. This would be more tricky if you don't have another iOS device. So, if you'd like to reset your iPhone but forgot the Apple ID password, then LockWiper would be the easiest way, which doesn't require a phone number, email, security questions. It can directly remove the Apple ID and reset your iPhone. And that's all for today's video. If you have any problems regarding iPhone locks, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.